In a quick turnaround, political analyst Joan Walsh has joined CNN's stable of contributors after MSNBC decided not to renew her contract. News broke that Walsh was being dropped by her longtime network on Friday night and into Saturday morning, when an intense backlash promptly settled in. Several observers chastised MSNBC for letting go of a notable, feminist progressive voice near the one-year anniversary of Donald Trump's election as president. By early Saturday morning, the hashtag hashtag Keep Joan Walsh was trending on Twitter in New York. WTF, at MSNBC? Firing progressive feminist at Joan Walsh two days before Christmas and keeping Hugh Hewitt? Shame on you. Hashtag purge, suburban gorilla ohm, at Susie Madrak, December 23, 2017 Just heard at Joan Walsh is out at MSNBC after 12 years, Merry Christmas. Their transformation into Fox News continues apace. Kate Harding, at Kate Harding, December 23, 2017 Many women citing at Joan Walsh, as an early champion, I'm among them. She encouraged me to write from feminist perspective more than a decade ago, as an editor at Salon. Strange time for MSNBC to jettison someone who's long been committed to making space for and promoting other women. Rebecca Traster, Edward Traster, December 23, 2017 at MSNBC Whenever at Joan Walsh appears on your station someone yelled out, in our home, hey Joan is on and we literally run to hear what she has to say. What an imbecile move. We need her intelligence now more than ever. Hashtag keep Joan Walsh, Nils Lofgren, at Nils Lofgren, December 23, 2017 Yes, it's Christmas weekend. I was baking pies with my daughter, who was home for the holidays, when I got the news, it didn't feel too good. But all of your support helps, a lot. I'm grateful to the people who have, fought for me. Joan Walsh, at Joan Walsh, December 23, 2017 Walsh, who is Salon's first news editor and the publication's editor-in-chief, for a total of six years, had been regularly appearing on Chris Matthews' Heartball and Chris Hayes' All In, among other MSNBC staples, before the news of MSNBC's decision broke. She's currently a national affairs correspondent for The Nation. Walsh's Twitter feed on, Saturday mostly consisted of retweets of other influential voices lamenting MSNBC's decision. The pushback MSNBC faced was similar to when, the network decided to drop contributor Sam Sater, host of The Majority Report, after right-wing media resurfaced a deleted tweet he posted joking about liberals' reluctance to condemn Roman Polanski, who was charged with drugging and raping a 13-year-old girl in 1977. He pled guilty to the charge of statutory rape, MSNBC ultimately reversed course, deciding to renew its relationship with Sater. As with the Sater situation, MSNBC was called out even by its own prominent voices for deciding to let Walsh go. It's incredibly short-sighted to sideline voices like Jones, especially now, AM Joy host Joy Reid tweeted, especially given the momentousness of next year's anniversaries, the Women's March, the King and RFK assassinations, we need to be at strength as media entities, and Joan belongs in the mix. It's incredibly short-sighted to sideline voices like Jones, especially now, especially given the momentousness of next year's anniversaries. The Women's March, The King and RFK Assassinations, We Need to, Be at Strength as Media Entities, and Joan Belongs in the Mix. Joy Reid, at Joy Ann Reid, December 23, 2017, at Joan Walsh is Indispensable. Chris Hayes, at Chris Hayes, December 23, 2017 In a statement addressing Walsh's exit, MSNBC referred to the, analyst as a key voice in political media. Every year we review our paid contributors list across the ideological spectrum. The network continued. Unfortunately we couldn't renew Joan, but she and her distinct perspective will still be invited on our shows. As supporters continued to make noise, news broke on Saturday that Walsh had already found a new cable news, home, CNN. Walsh, in her announcement of the news, implied that the outpouring of support on social media helped make the transition a reality. I am overwhelmed by the support I've received today from all of you. And I'm thrilled to tell you I'll be heading to at CNN in the new year, she said. Thanks to everyone who made this happen.
a Christmas miracle. I am overwhelmed by the support I've received today from all of you. And I'm thrilled to tell you I'll be heading to at CNN in the new year. Thanks to everyone who made this happen. A Christmas miracle. Joan Walsh, at Joan Walsh, December 24, 2017.